Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPad to iOS 9.3. Now, this is whichever iPad you have, whether it's iPad mini, iPad Pro, or iPad Air, whichever, it's the same thing. Even if you have an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, um, this is the same thing anyway. So, first of all, go into your settings, and then you go into general. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to go into iCloud and manually back up your entire iPad, okay? So just go into iCloud, back it up. That's because sometimes things go wrong, okay? So next, you go into general. Once you're in general, you're gonna see your second option of software update. Under software update, you will see this come up. So what's gonna happen first, it's gonna download the update, so let's just tap on this. It's gonna download the update and then it's gonna install it, okay? So it will ask you, and uh, even if you leave your iPad, Okay, hooked up to electricity and you just leave it updating, it's okay. Um, even if he asks you, is it okay to install now? Um, if you don't touch it, it's gonna install by itself. Okay, so it automatically knows that you're not probably not there watching this the whole time. So therefore, it's just gonna do it by itself. Now this whole process with an iPhone, it took me 20 minutes, but my internet connection wasn't the best. I think that's why it took so long. Now with this one, it should be a lot faster. Um, you're just gonna see that. And um, it's the same steps as an iPhone, for example. So after it downloads and installs, I'm just gonna show you the future. So what's gonna happen is this. You guys are gonna see this Apple logo in the loading bar coming up. After that, you guys are going to see a second loading bar coming up. And then, once all that's done, that's the longest thing, you guys are going to get that message that you saw right there. Put in your code, go continue, and then it's going to ask you for your Apple ID. Okay, you can skip this step, but don't. Um, for sure, put your Apple ID code, okay, password. And then, uh, that's the, actually the last step. So it is a small update, but at the same time, it's a little bit bigger than the tiny ones that they usually release. So that's why I recommend making that one backup on your iCloud. Remember, if you guys don't have any more space on your iCloud, there's no really need to buy more space. You guys can just hook it up to your computer and make a backup right there on your computer. And there on your computer with iTunes, you guys have unlimited gigs, basically. Well, not unlimited. You know how you have 256 gigs on your Mac, maybe? That's your limit for your backup, okay, in iTunes. So, I do suggest doing that, and always have your iPad at least 50%, okay? If you don't have it at 50% your battery, then just hook it up to some electricity. Um, I always, even if you have 100%, I always recommend having this. Okay, I'm just gonna click install now. Um, so. Uh, even if you do, um, always have it hooked up to some electricity, just in case, okay? You don't want it to die. The last thing that you want to happen is your iPad dying on you when it's updating, okay? Especially installing. So the download process, if it dies there, it doesn't really matter that much. But if it dies when you guys are installing it, like right now, then that's a big problem. Okay, anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.